whole style of a TV which has been in the yard for a while. Well, this is the device we're going to pop. Still until 40 at the moment. We need to wedge the fuse out and then uh, we'll get into it. Good day viewers. Um, upon request I'm going to pop another TV. I don't do it this time as a change over switch. I've got a big Variac here. It's a 45 amp Variac. It's 315 but I put them in parallel. 45 amps. Three step up transformers to give me about 850 volts AC at probably about 5-6 amps. M meter with a current transformer which sits at the font here. Uh, 40 to 5 ratio, we'll go by these numbers, 0, 20, 40, 60, and we'll just pop it in and see what happens. You've got a test socket all activated device. I'll ramp it up and I'll show the voltage, but although it's an open load voltage, 83. Give me about eight, 850 volts AC. Okay, I'll set up for 230. I'll plug the TV in. This is another TV produced in the so called snowstorm. I've got a little mirror here. Turn the other camera on at this moment. The other camera is recording the power capacitors and the power supply. And this camera giving us the overall view. Swing it over a little bit. I'll give it a ramp and one shot up to 800 volts and see what happens. Some more. Cooked. Something popped. Just leave the power on at the moment. I think the TV is not working anymore. Still some stuff cooking there. Be in mind of the high voltage here, so I need to be careful. De-energize the devices. De-energized. Water and electricity don't mix of course, but uh, if it's de-energized it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. Well, I expected the caps to go boom, but they survived. Shorted out in the AC input. Obviously 800 volts is a bit too high for the distances between the terminations on these boards. I'm going to ramp and one shot up to 800 volts and see what happens. That's all. Alright, we've still got some more. Cooked. Not too hot. Power on at the moment. I think the TV 
electricity is not working anymore. Adjust the devices. A little bit of water. I've de-energized. 